Oh, there it is. Look at that horrible fucking thing. Here he comes. Discount Podcast. This week is me with Subnautica. This one should be fun. I really like Subnautica. I don't know quite how much Subnautica we're going to get out in two and a half, two and a half hours-ish, but we will do our best. Um... Freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. I thought about survival for a minute, but, um... Like, this stream is not going to be as entertaining if I'm fiddling around for food and water constantly. Uh, it sort of halts progression a bit. Get more done with freedom, exactly. Um, the example I was going to use, and this will be just an example for me. Um, there was a Digimon World game I played middle of last year. And there was a translation thing where... in the translated game you had easy and normal and in the original it was normal and hard so like normal translated to easy and hard translated to normal but the only difference it gave is that you gained xp at one fifth the speed so the game just took five times as long and because you were dealing with like life cycles of your digimon you were just kneecapped repeatedly um and this will be the same that like I will progress in the same order and at the same sort of well no my point is exactly it won't be the same pace because I have to like break it up every few minutes to go get more food and water oh the exploding shit go boom sell the game to you ah oh, you can fucking swim in don't you uh, I, I put up a uh, Instagram story just before um, like starting up the stream that said can't hear the game that's fine that's a bit too loud pop it there that looks good um I put an Instagram story that just said playing this thalassophobia simulator tonight. Um, it, it's just like it's a really well constructed um, survival game. Emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Um, it is a very well built survival game in a completely like different environment to what you'd normally get. It's not often you have a like water based survival game where you also have to contend with like, oxygen constantly. Oh shit. Hey look, it's some lovely, lovely ocean. Something's poking out the top there. Um, okay. The Aurora suffered orbital heart failure. Cause unknown. Let's. Zero human life signs detected. Oh, that's cool. Guess I'm playing some Nautica again. Um, tell you what, um, Lauren, because I know you're watching. Uh, if you want, you can play it again. Uh, the knife, if I want. Silicon rubber and titanium. That that was an old comment. Yeah, it was from um, saying you can't, you can hear the game. It was from when I first started because we had it massively turned down from uh, Kingdom Hearts because it was 
absolutely blasting Kingdom Hearts music. Uh, when we started this and it was equipment. silent. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but blows a Okay, tries to blast a buff, it does. So shout my boomerang fish. Come back, fish. I just put it down. Oh well. Don't need it anyway. Oxygen. Oxygen, you say. Yeah, I forgot I uh, played the PS5 version of this. So I've just popped the first trophy of the PS4 version, which is nice. Some mushrooms. Oh, it's the bigger ones, there's things, isn't it? Now a new task opens. I've just said Lara can do it if she wants. Always goes on about how she wishes you could do games again for the first time. Or like Geldy uh, trophies again. There you go. Perfect. I got too many trophies going on at the minute. I'm trying to balance like three games. And on that note, because I like to ask, um, How's everyone doing? What are we Detecting up to? What are we playing? Deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair to oxygen. Oxygen. Died already died there, but nope. Just about made it home. I'm looking for some sulphur. I know it's in the little splody nests, but I need to find one of those first as well. Oh, it's the big ones. You have materials in. I've played before because there's no hesitation. I know what I'm up to. Oxygen. I know what to expect. I know what's going down. Okay. Am I blind? There's my pod. You had no hesitation, no clue. I suppose you can't be scared if you don't know there's anything to be scared of. Pick up scrap wherever I can. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, one more reason to go back to my my pod then. You were sure scared the first time you played. The the thing with this game is like it the the level of fear you experience in this game is like a bell curve where you, like, don't know enough about what's waiting to be scared. You know what's waiting and are scared, and you no longer have fear. S standard what I have, or am I just breathing? I'm just breathing. Cool. Um, Thomas. Stop into a... Drowning is the biggest fear for now. Um, a standard O2 tank. Okay. Um, chuck some mushrooms, chuck the juice sandwich, chuck the egg. Blueprint it's a large required. one, but I need to get that standard O2 tank back and then have two glass and silver. Picked up any Obviously I haven't picked up any silver, or else I would have silver. Wouldn't I? Um, 
it's these I want. I want scanner, repair tool, knife. For which I need silicon. Oh, silicone is the, um... The kelp? I want to say. I think. No, if you can't use a, uh, a weapon. No, I want it to cut kelp. <laughs> I know I'll need sulfur eventually, but uh, basically bypassing the scan because I remember everything. I remember a few things. I remember enough to get me through like the first Honestly, I probably remember enough to get me through the stream. There's the kelp. I started panicking. I was like, I'm certain the kelp's this way. No, that's a lie. I need the scanner to um, scan blueprints. I should save the game and go swim by the Aurora. Maybe I fucking shouldn't. Is the world not RNG? No. The I think the exact layout is RNG. Like, um, what am I trying to say? Hello, you. Calm down. Um, like the kelp forest is always here. Life on this planet grows in unusually This on the map is always where the kelp layers. forest is. Further but study recommended. I think the layout of the kelp forest is RNG. I think. Take some seed clusters. Alright. The blueprints are randomly dropped in. The layouts are the same. I, I I wondered if like cave systems are different. I don't know if um, the big underground caves. Like I think the big. Oh, they're all the same. That's fair. Just then the layouts the same, but the stuff like dropped in it is different. Yeah, as you say, the blueprints are in random areas and like. The map, for the most part, has to be the same because you need to be able to follow, like, the plot. What plot there is in this one. Um, also, not pretty. Everything's got a sort of beautiful bioluminescence to it. <laughs> so you played, you wouldn't leave the pod at night. It's not at night, it's pretty. Look how everything glows. It's gorgeous. Been a favourite podcast episode of the game. So see if you're on Man Eater and it should be three for three. I wasn't completely sure if I could make silicon rubber out of the uh, seed clusters, but now that I know I can, I can start actually building stuff. There's a knife. Lovely stuff. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. Sulfur. The knife remains the only exception. Okay, let's make it. New blueprint acquired. Oh, fins. Uh, let's get fins, yeah, why not? The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be over. No one needs to play man eater. That's, that's the fair. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology let's scan some stuff. and to record alien biological data. It's like I'm back in No Man's Sky, except I can't call them all 
discount here. Where am I swimming? Where's the Aurora? There, I am right way. I feel like you can eventually build a compass of some description. And uh, that would help. There, I got another right. So I'm not like blindly going. I know vaguely the direction I'm going in, but it would help to be able to see like south. Stop going so far out, I'm going to try and find some air. Uh, Very excited for the new sequel. I still haven't played it. Uh, below zero. What, what did I just do? I made a battery somehow. Uh, let's drop some mushrooms. Screenshot. Oh, did I take the battery out of the fucking thing? Yes, that's what I did by accident. They've announced the sequel have a co-op option. That's fun. Then. Um, if this had a more robust base building system, I could see this being quite fun for a co-op. Like one person constructs a base and one like goes out and gathers resources. The way we played like a zomboid or a, uh, the way people used to play Rust. Sulfur bastards, then. There's one. Detecting Hello, you. Radiation levels. Sir. The trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Thank you. Sustained during planet fall. Pleasure doing business, Mr. Explosion. What's in these? Gold. Dead. Silver. I want some of those, I think. Silver based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Oxygen. Oxygen. Let's start going. Back to the pod then. A lot of people didn't like Below Zero, you really enjoyed the story, didn't find it scary. It was fair to the child. Yeah, I. Something about it just isn't as appealing to me. I don't know what it is. Every time I look at it, I'm like not as drawn to it as I was this one. Although I suppose, like I wasn't incredibly drawn to this one at first. Something about it just sort of clicked as I was playing. Will be dispatched to your location in 
Life pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Ports to make another one. Two. Okay, so if I then unequip that, I can make the high capacity one. Lovely stuff. There we go. That's time. I think overall the series is really good back to world building potential. It's just like a cool concept you can do a lot with. I think that's the next port of call. I, like, my only issue with this game, and I think I said as much in the episode, is I do think it takes a little while to, like, get going. And this is the part of the game that is probably the biggest struggle for people who aren't familiar with it and don't, like, stick, want to stick it out. It's like when you don't know you're waiting for those um like radio messages to progress the story it can feel a bit aimless. Sea guy fragment, lovely. You take time to really enjoy the story reader scan out trees back out. Uh dip my arm and get your first two tries, yeah. Like, I, th I think when I first played this, I played it basically as, like, a generic survival game. I didn't do any of the story. I just, like, went around, collected stuff, built a base. But the game does ask you to, like, explore and piece it together yourself. Hello, you. You absolute nightmare. And like it's it's fine to want to piece it together yourself, but the game also gives you like no guidance on how to do that. Thirty seconds. Uh, Thirty seconds, plenty. when you got the sea glide. I think I'm dead. Yep. Oh, didn't notice how deep I was, to be honest. Ah, so we've got long ins in it. Didn't have much. I genuinely don't know what I lost. I think you only lose um, everything you've picked up since you last left the pod, which for that was literally nothing. All I'd done was scan. 20 seconds was in fact not a lot of time. True. So we're asking when did I save? And I was like, no idea. So I'll manual save. But yeah, um, I'm fairly certain when you die, it literally just puts you back to your state when you last left the life pod or your base or wherever. So all you lose is everything you picked up since leaving, like on that particular journey. Which, as I say, was nothing. All I'd done was scan. I, I play fast and my oxygen a lot. Scan some out salvage or not. Um 
There's more about salvage, that's more about salvage. I want to scan, son. At least I have to scan the game. You know, just like, you know, actually playing the game rather than fussing about with uh, my oxygen and whatnot. Oh, hello, you. What are you? I'll be a blue fragment. It's done. Need a blueprint acquired. At least this uh, gives me my own health bar. It isn't like Dave the Diver when you get lightly bonked by an enemy and all of your oxygen goes away. Be advised that a common seconds. complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Passing 100 nice. meters, Thank you. oxygen efficiency decreased. Uh, yeah, it's like my only problem with Dave the Diver was I hated that your health and oxygen bars were one and the same. <laughs> so then sometimes you would just get fucked up, like trying to swim to oxygen, and then a random fish comes out of nowhere and skewers you and you die. It's like, oh. Okay. You can stop yelling, please. We're on a nice peaceful stream today. All these monsters are yelling at me. Game had to stop and think for a second, that's fine. Fairly certain I'm still moving vaguely the same direction. So, no need for concern yet. Once the kelp disappears, as I think it is now, that's when we start being concerned. Definitely getting a bit out of our depth. That's that area. I can't remember the name of. Need the map up really to know which fucking areas are where and where Leviathans are going to jump me. Oh hey, those things. Look at them go. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks passing 100 meters. Oxygen That's efficiency decreased. Hey, to the first thing. You kind of love there's no map. Yeah, like. Oxygen. Dead again? Yeah. Oh well. Um. Yeah, it's like it's good. There's no map. I feel like I wish there was a. Actually, yes, wait until I reload before I say that. Because I could just be being stupid. Okay, yeah. I I wish from the start, if it's going to give you no map, it gave you like a compass of some description. Just because when you're stuck, like trying to get a feel for the game and work out like your environment, yeah, I feel like it's too easy to get really disorientated of where you are. I wish I could, from the beginning, be like, I'm going to start swimming west. And that was just it. This one's pretty dead. Sea glide. Near blueprint acquired. You can make it though, that's much easier to make, that's the point. You've crashed line of no orientation, that's fair. 
Oh yeah, I get it from a like storytelling perspective. I just think there's a balance to be struck between like game design for um, like atmosphere and game design for help me work out where I'm going in your massive fucking game world. Hello, sir. Can I fucking help you? Did I ask for your opinion? It's like I'm trying to look at something and the dog comes over. Like, can I... Can you please move? I'm trying to scan these things without your big stupid head in the way. Fragments. I've got like enough. Thirty seconds. Go back to the pod, I think. I'll make try make a sea glide to uh, hopefully stop my endless repeated deaths. But I want another sea moth part because I think I've got enough to make the mobile vehicle bay, but not enough for the moth yet. But I think once I make the sea glide, it might start giving me. Um, Radio. Radio calls. No, there was one. Let's just missed it. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laid back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. Oh, we're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Um, make a battery. Copper uh, Then make my sea glide. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Start moving towards life pod three. Let's put the lights on. That didn't do much. Ah, uh, lights up below me rather than uh, in front. I suppose it does light up in front. There was just nothing to reflect the light, was there? Horrible sound. What a worse sound. Hello, LifePod 3. How are you? Integrating new PDA data. There we go, so that's the blueprint for the compass. New blueprint acquired. And then that's that's it. Typically each uh makes are fully invested up you found the life pods. This is sort of just how the game progresses from here. You get a call there's been a life pod, you go to the life pod, it will have like normally has a blueprint in it of some description and then you get that blueprint and you wait for the next life pod. Is that a sea Where are the sea moth fragments game? You prick. Probably not in little boxes are they because the sea moths are pretty big. You never found a life pod? I sold the whole life pod of the game mate. It's probably why you had a hard time getting into it. To be fair, if you're not paying attention, the uh, notification that there's been a... So that one on the right, that there's been a call, it's quite easy to miss if you're not paying attention. Oh, I suppose it stays on the screen, doesn't it? So, let's get another one. Call 
This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. And this is where a lot of, like... location uploaded to PDA. A lot of the challenge of... Uh, whatever the other mode is, the survival mode comes from, is you have to pack, like, food and water to go on these life pod trips. With survival, it's a lot more sort of... I thought that was some horrible squid creature. It's just kelp. Um, with survival, it's just, like, trying not to drown. But with... No, sorry. With freedom, it's just trying not to drown. With survival, you have to, like, pack rations to go on these 500-meter journeys. It's a Seamoth fragment. Stunning. New blueprint acquired. Take the PDA. Integrating PDA data. Why are we echoing? Take an Traveled as far as you Cool could. scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Right, it's here, isn't it? Passing one. The big mushroom meters. cave. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yep. 30 seconds. So there's that, but you can't go down into it because uh, I can't go into the max depth. So I'm going to go back and try and gather the resources to be able to see uh, sea moth, and then we will come back. Oh, okay. uh, That's an element of this game you will see me do all the time, is you get to the surface and spin round in a circle, being like, where, where, where am I? Where's my, where's my everything? Still can't do it with seed boss, can you? You don't need the air. Uh... Am I forgetting is the one between the sea moth and the cyclops? Oh, depth upgrade, that's what you need, isn't it? You you get the sea moth, you find or you get a distress call that's like at the sea moth's depth, and it gives you a blueprint for a depth upgrade, that's what it is. Also, uh, shout out to this bit of sand that every time I build the Cyclops, I beach it on this little bit of sand. Without fail. Or one like that. I just get it stuck on random little pills of sand. Because I am an idiot. Also, shout out to this map. It's terrible. Do you do probably crash the seamoth into the ceiling of the cave? Yep. That that is the way. Radio for now. Uh da, da, da. Oh we can buy titanium ingot, lubricant power cell. Uh titanium ingot. Lubricant. I don't think I can make power cells, because I, I think I'm lacking everything. Two batteries and silicon rubber. I think I need more copper. Why don't I put some copper in here? Uh, nope, need more copper. I am, however, going to turn my. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll turn them into uh, my mesh. Why not? Try and just break down some of my inventory. Right, uh, I need copper, I need... I don't actually need acid mushrooms, I don't think. Make one battery. I've got enough acid mushrooms, I need copper. And can I make silicon rubber? Okay, so I need a seed cluster. Did I have a seed cluster in there? No. The seed cluster, I need copper. Make sure I'm going the right way. There's the Aurora. It's 
before building the uh, compass it is literally just a game of find the aurora and point in sort of vaguely the right direction from there so am i going like towards it am i going away from it i'm going to the left or the right Clusters. And then let's try and find some copper. I think it's those ones that have copper in. I remember. Here's the uh, the cracky ones. Make another power cell for my uh, sea glide suit. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum uh. detonation. Continuing to monitor. Yeah. One of those away. I need to saw them for a minute. Get some silicon rubber. Mushrooms out, did I? That would be smart. So obviously I didn't do it. Uh, yep, get the mushrooms out, make the battery, then make a power cell, then make what's the one here? Oh, the compass got wire and wiring kit. Why if I can make a wiring kit again? Oh, it's just silver and then copper. That's fine. Um, my body will come We are progressing. I'll be honest, I wasn't even expecting to make it this far in the stream. Because I normally have to spend fucking hours looking for blueprints. This is the luckiest I've ever been with blueprints. Okay, titanium ingot, power cell, glass times two, lubricant and lead. I have lead. Didn't said it, did not mentally log any of it. Glass times two. Okay. Lubricant and titanium ingot, I think I can make currently. Uh pick up a couple more mushrooms while I'm here. You too, bud, you too. Um Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, so. Lubricant. Silver away, put the health kit away, put the egg away, um, put the salt away, don't have any quartz, that's fine, get that out, use that to make four more titanium, that should give me ten now so I can make the ingot. I do need silicon rubber but I don't need it for the thing, I need it for the power cell. Go in here, make a battery. Get my last two mushrooms out of storage. Uh, to make another battery. Make a power cell. Hello. Land 
Department Mistress Hall. This is Officer Keenan. 300 meters. That is the one that I think the has the depth upgrade gone. with it. So I, I in theory, need the, the sea glide to get that deep, or well, the sea drop to get that deep out of dying. Regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. I think. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Or is that the one that's like... Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, yeah, down there. Um, where am I going? Okay. Double check what I need now. Just need two more quarts of some glass. Perfect. Uh, quartz, 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 quartz. Caves. Um, I ideally want the big coral tube, but I can never remember where it is. I want to say it's vaguely south. The big coral tube often has some lovely, lovely quartz in it. Oh, there's one anyway. I found a second one that's hanging around in here. Hello, you. Pleasure doing business. You don't have any sulfur anymore because you're a prick. Uh, pick up some more mushrooms. Why not? Once I dropped earlier. How you doing? Uh. Why you? Is that an egg? That's an egg. Don't want it. Already got that one. Uh, quartz, quartz, quartz. Oh, hello, new explosion boy. How are you? Can you get me? Peace out. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, quartz. Quartz. Fucking perfect. Oh, I hear you. For posterity. Um, that's a coral tube. That is more quartz. They killed you more than Leviathans. Like, everyone's first experience of that coral tube really fucked me up. Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! SpongeBob, careful! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! That's a great one. That's so good. Um, yeah, I feel like everyone's first memory of Subnautica is those fucking things blowing you up. It's like the great equaliser of this game is you will just get completely messed up by those little things looking for sulphur. And then not realise sulphur's in them for ages. Uh, let's put the quartz away. Let's put the sulphur away. To build a the sea moth is a fast hey, a trophy. mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Okay. I'm going to very uh, overconfidently assume I'm not going to need a spare battery for this trip. Just murdered that fish. Don't worry about it. Just murdered a lot of those fish. Again, let's not worry about it. Wow, you appeared out of nowhere. The PS4 is unhappy with the render distance. It is doing its very best. 
don't know what I hit that time. Let's not worry about it. But yeah, what are uh, what are people up to this fine evening? I finished uh, I finished Dead Rising for the first time ever today. Got the true ending, the overtime ending. That game is genuinely amazing. One of my favourites of that generation. But I'm it's from like Congratulations, before you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by five hundred percent. Data indicates that swimming was your favourite activity. Hmm. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen oh, efficiency fuck it, greatly prom decreased. Suit, man. Catching some speeders in police simulator. How is that? I've seen you playing a lot of it. I don't know anything about it. Like, is it good? <laughs> New blueprint acquired. I said I thought the depth upgrade was in that 300 meters one so the fact that this tops out at 200 indicates to me I'm very wrong and therefore don't remember where the uh, depth upgrade is Seconds. Oxygen. They say acquired weird. Yeah. Come on now. Don't be a dick. Again. Just move this over a bit closer, probably. Warning. Maximum oh, death reach. Power damage imminent. imminent. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. It's like a laser cutter I can get soon. That's a horrifying hole to look into. Um, yeah, there's a laser cutter I can get access to soon, but I'm getting to the point where my memory's starting to get hazy. Like, I remember that first section nicely, and now I'm sort of blanking. Like, I know I need to get the laser cutter soon. Oh, that's good. Uh, and I know I need to get the depth upgrade soon. But I can't remember where either of those things are. Thirty seconds. Yeah, alright. New blueprint acquired. Oxygen. That's something. Okay, 
vehicle upgrade comes in free if it had the upgrade. I'm just wondering if the game just expects me to go like the extra 100 meters. Whatever the equivalent of on foot is, but that feels kind of wrong. Warning maximum depth reached, hull damage imminent. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen How can I be more resilient decrease. than a machine? Good question. Oh no, I am just meant to swim down here. That's fine. I just, I, I couldn't remember if I was like meant to swim down here, or if I was meant to wait and like get the depth upgrade first. But I think this might be the depth upgrade. Oh, it's all drug casting. Blueprint acquired. Data. Yeah, you just swim down. 30 seconds. Ag-wired. Yeah, it's... Kind of bizarre, but it's fine. Okay, now we look for dry land. So, this is, if you've listened to the episode, uh, Josh's play of the game is on this dry land. Um... It's also horrifying to approach from underneath. Um, and he did exactly what I did, where you're just pissing around and find it by chance. And I'm like, oh, land. Cool. So that's another radio transmission. Before then, we will have an explore of dry land. Integrating new PDA data. Picking up multiple so you've won the game. On the surface. Gotta slice the plants to get the seeds to plant them. Because I, I think if you're playing this on survival, this is like a major moment because you get access to two things. Um, which I'll point out as soon as I find the base, which I think is up here. It's up there. On the very tippity top of the, uh, the island. Some of it's down here, anyway. Uh, you get access to two very important things for uh, your survival game, which is uh, grow beds. Marble melons. I think I'm remembering correctly. Oh, piss off you fucking head crab looking bastards. Um, I think I'm remembering this correctly. But, uh, can I hit it? Please? No? Okay. Um, Marble melons, I think, give both food and water, and you can just grow them in these fucking grow beds now. And so this is the point in the game where you're like, get a purple tablet. I can hear death approaching. I'm gonna scan the multi-purpose room. Okay, just to just get to the island. That's once you know where you're going, it kind of rattles along at a decent pace. It's just having to get there. Integrating new PDA data. Hello you. How's it going? Integrating new PDA data. That's okay, you stay you stay in there, bud. Oh, 
platter as well. Fairly set up into triangle is how you jump. That's right. So we're trying to suss that one out. But you can get wall planters as well. What was I trying to scan? So put the data box what's in there. Ultraglide fins so I can swim faster. I love the instant warping of a Dead. The instant warping of stairs. Shout out. <laughs> Rattling our fucking data. trophies in this game. Can you get out of the way so I can take this battery? Thank you. Right, I want to get to the one up there as well because I think there's good stuff in that. Yeah, on my first playthrough, like, I found this just randomly, and I was like, oh, this is cool, like, this little island base in the middle of the ocean, and didn't think anything further about it. And it wasn't until I watched, like, Lauren playing it properly that I was like, oh, shit, there's actually, like, game. There is game to be discovered in this game. I'm not listening to any of the incredibly sad PDAs. Yeah, who wants to be sad? I didn't listen to it the first time either. Cool. I also have just seen there's another one of these bastards over there, so we have to walk over there now. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, my inventory is full. Is there anything I can warrant dumping? I don't need paint caps, do I? Like, I don't need any food, but I'm going to grow some, just for fun. Just for funsies. Right, we'll go up there, and then we'll go back to the pod, because there are, I think, two radio broadcasts for us to listen to now. do I? And here's the lantern fruit tree. Much of a muchness. If door grow bed, be sure to scan that. Scan observatory. Might build a base. Might build a base. That'd be cute. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint we go PDA, acquired. just to not listen to it. Integrating new PDA data. Talking shit and then broke my legs, so that'll teach me. Okay. Back to my SEMA. Bonk on the island, obviously. Make my way home. <laughs> Making strong progress. We might even get to the Aurora this stream. If I don't start pissing her out. Uh, building a base. Yeah, this is basically Warning. some Nautica. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. You go on your little expeditions to find the other life pods. 
slowly improving your equipment. Yeah, that was just a stalker. Um, and you know, going further and further out, deeper and deeper down. Learning a little bit about yourself and the world. Also, as I think we learn like about a bunch of games whenever we do these streams, uh, this game is fucking spooky with headphones on, I'll tell you that. A number of times I hear random monster noises as I'm going past. I'm like, sure, that sounds like it wants to, to eat me. Play the message. I priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod oh. is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasar. I said Kasar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So yeah, we have new, we have advanced materials now. Hydrochloric acid and poly, polyaniline, which is fun. space. Um, food chip and wiring kit. Can I make either of those? Food chip, I need table, coral and copper wire. That needs silver. Uh, two table coral and some silver. I think I have one silver. Don't I? I'm not going to bother taking the uh, the Seamoth, because I'm not going far. Fuck you. why they're so against my continued existence. Death is everywhere, you are correct. Let's see to find some sandstone outcrops, try and get some silver. That's the default question I ask playing this game. Is just what it is. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Then pop back down. I have never noticed that before. That the uh, light on the controller gets brighter when you turn the C book light lights on. I noticed that. That's fucking cool. What use? 
salt. This is obviously not salt, this is part of a ship, but anything of worth in here? Ow. Could you fucking not? Horrible death creatures nearby. Like, yeah, making spooky noises at me. The problem is with these, you need the uh, the laser cutter to really make the most of these wrecks because you need to cut all the doors open. Thirty seconds. I strayed a bit close to the aurora. Passing 100 meters. What are you? Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, definitely. Don't need that. You can still scan them to get a, I think it's like two titanium per scan, but I've got fucking titanium in this anyway, so. What I don't currently have enough of is silver. I can't find any of the sandstone uh, outcrops to get. I know over there is a Leviathan country up north. And I want nothing to do with that. I knew it as soon as I did it was going to be gold. would like some silver. I think this is one of the first times playing this though where I'm not being endlessly harassed by stalkers. They're just kind of leaving me alone, which is awful pleasant. No, no sandstone at all. Oh, there's three. The, uh, the Hydra event. Yes. So with the Hydra event, I feel like I'm tempting fate. What, by constantly straying into where I should die and then not dying? Absolutely. Uh, the Hydra event is interesting because what you can eventually do is for your base build a hydrothermic generator and pop it in that hole and then pipe the energy back to your base. Uh, table coral. Table coral's up at one, two. I think I need one more silver. And sort of 
start building a base. Hello. Silver, man. I don't think I'm asking too much. I don't think I'm really asking much at all, just for some silver. I think I just went in a circle. Oh, hello, you. You will hopefully have some silver in, won't you? It doesn't look like it wants to be particularly kind. The scanner room in the basement is worth it for this shit. It really is. It's kind of why I want to build the base. Like, maybe not for the stream purposes, but for... If I want to come back to this save, to, like, do the Subnautica Platinum a second time. Um, it'd just be good to have a base. That means I can start shedding all the fucking fish. Oh, not fish, sorry. The eggs I've got in my storage. That's the main reason I'm after the base, is I want to build storage. And I don't just want to build, like, underwater lockers, because they're kind of shit. Oxygen. Oh, right. You're right again. Sorry for ignoring you. Silver is in deep kelp for a complaint. Yeah, I'm just sort of roaming a bit. Also, I think raw silver is in those places. It can drop from a uh, titanium, not titanium, sandstone deposits. Because I've got all of my silver from sandstone here. I think like the big silver nodes are in those places, but I can't do those yet anyway. Oxygen Just going to repair my Seamoth a bit. Seamoth, so you can remember what it's called. Um, so I don't want to absolutely murder it swimming through unfamiliar environments. I say bonking every piece of coral I can. In this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up Jesus faint Christ. or terror vehicle signatures. Bombing everything. You love Jesus? That's good to admit in the chat. Good for you. I don't think there's anything else of worth near this one. Another egg. Is that just lithium? Oh, I'll pick up some lithium. I think I'll need lithium soon. That's more salt, yeah. Click 
Cool. Emergency. The Aurora's about to explode. Has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a super critical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. See it tight, I missed it. Oh no, just about got there. So, uh, the Aurora has just exploded and has dumped radiation into the ocean. Um, so I now have the option to obviously build the radiation suit, but I think on top of that, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I can now go and explore the Aurora. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency Did decreased. Drop anything? Did I not fucking drop anything? Rude. What's that shit about? Anything? Gold. Quartz. Ed. Silver. I think salt is literally just for curing food, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah. Making dried fish in a survival mode. I'm not sure it has any other purposes. See what it takes to put a radiation suit, and then we'll go and uh, go and explore the aurora, I suppose. No, I think I need to do some sh pods first because I think I need the. Oh god! Don't know if the chat can remember. Um, the laser cutter, I feel like I need it for the Aurora, but I don't remember if I get it from early in the Aurora or from a pod. I think from a pod. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship sun. Oh, the fucking sunbeam. Over. From Rex randomly, okay. Nothing but vacuum. These all Terra ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, like the they will pick up. That makes sense. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. I mean, I'm a bigger waterproof locker. Builder 2 
is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Just start it here, I guess. Um. Class steel, fucking hell. That's not for a while, is it? I don't know how I lost the pod there, but it's directly above me. Oh, I dropped that for a reason, didn't I? Don't know. Pull that titanium back up, so I'm going to use it. So yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go exploring for a little bit to try and find some uh, laser cutter parts. to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Okay. Hatch, quartz, and another titanium. Six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Hey. And have a little base. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Bioreactor is probably the best one. I can make solar panels eventually. I just need to find them first. Oh no, I can make solar panels now. Uh, more quartz and copper. Bioreactor might be the way though. Yeah, I've got my little base. Start growing that up at some point. Haven't I? Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. It says that. Oh, right. Uh. Where? Five or six transmission origin. 
Sound approximately 100 meters, located in an area dense with. Uh, red grass, I remember natural because of rock stats. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west northwest of life pod 4. Am I life pod 4? No, I'm life pod 5. Do I have the point for life pod 4? No. Should I have the point for life pod 4? Who knows? Didn't mean to get out. Might be able to make a compass. Oh, do they come up on the compass? Or just for directions, I imagine. That makes more sense. wire and wiring kit. Copper, oh, I can make a wiring kit. Very more copper. Two copper. Did I put any copper in here? No. I have gold on me, not copper. Thankfully, copper is hanging out in the more common of these. Have one. I come in these limestone points until I find more copper. Oh, hey, laser cut fragment. Nuclear waste disposal sounds threatening. So let's scan it. Scan a room fragment. Blueprint acquired. Two out of three. Not too bad. Let's head back. I've got my copper now. Give me another one. Just get a spare, a spare copper. Seconds is more than enough. Uh, forgot completely for a second what I wanted it for. But it was for the compass. And then I do also want to go and get. Um, Two creep find samples of me the radiation suit. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you. I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Thanks, Sunbeam. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I it's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. The other fiber mesh I put in the box. Yeah. 
radiation suit. Cool. Don't need to be worried about that anymore. It is west northwest of Life Pod 4's last name location. So I don't know where Life Pod 4 is, but. Where's the Aurora? I know there's one that's sort of nearish the Aurora. I don't know if that's for. Please occur. Please occur. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, six. Hey, found it. Who needs life pod four when you have intuition? Life things. A scanner room fragment. I think that'll give me the scanner room blueprint now. Data. I'm also trying to like scan the area a bit for boxes that might have a laser cutter fragment in. Laser cutter, but what are you? Oh, my reactor. Never mind. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Again, don't bonk your ass on the floor. Oh, can I scan the forklift? Can't table though. Can't a forklift my base? Or I need to lift that heavy. Okay, so we hurt my back. Acquired. Shameful. Shameful display. Just floats. That's fair.
detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. I'm infected. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting oh, trace no. amounts of foreign it's, bacteria. It's Continuing to monitor. Plot gonna plot. would like a bit of the laser cut honestly as much as generally swimming around is very pleasant um, I don't mind that last bit of laser cut you know would would not complain in this boxes, yeah. I'm just trying to find some more. Let's try west, do a bit west, yeah. For the areas of red grass. Taking a beating. Very sorry, so not to get. I want to say, radiation suit and laser car is all I need to go to the Aurora. I should bring a uh, fire extinguisher with me, but I think there's plenty on board. That's fine, yeah. And he's coming up to... Uh, so we'll have at least like a show your Leviathan? No. How about no? I don't want to see a Leviathan. Um, I'll probably go to the Aurora, have a little, a little look around, give you an idea of what would be coming next. That's Subnautica. No, this is Subnautica. Having a nice swimmy time and not getting attacked. <laughs> no, why don't you leave coward as a banned term? Just because it would have been really funny given all the other shit we let pass. <laughs> Fine, we're all chatting for Leviathan. Let's go fight a Leviathan. Go on then. Drop off some stuff. Oh, diamonds? Where the fuck do I get diamonds? I got sulfur, I got batteries. Where the fuck do I get diamonds? I 
feel like it's in certain caves, but I don't know which caves you get diamonds in. The jellyfish caves. Oh, fucking hell. Um, can't really go in the jellyfish caves yet, can I? Because they're... Um... They're deep, yeah. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. I have to pop into sort of the top of the jellyfish caves and then try and look for diamonds around the top. Am I supposed to have the depth upgrade by now? I'm really struggling to remember the progression from here. I feel like I should have the depth upgrade by now, but I can't remember if that's in the Aurora. Was it here which had the jellyfish caves nearby? Let's upgrade is a while. Hmm. Oh no, here's the jellyfish caves. I think. Caves okay, are in the red grass area. I thought it was this one. I was just because I looked at the log and it had um oh no our pod was crushed I'm going to the wrong uh the wrong pod that one I think I just went to the wrong pod I missed it I was looking for it in the um the log as like oh near a cave system of unknown like biome but I missed that the thing above it was a pod distress call. It just didn't have a number on it. I'll tell you what, looking at the time, just because we are uh... We've seen most of what some Norgrass to offer. I think I'll try and get some diamonds, build the laser cutter, we'll go get brutally murdered by a Leviathan, and then that should be a nice place to uh, wrap up what has been a very enjoyable stream. I might go back and play uh, Below Zero after this. Or at least platinum this for a second time. Here, what is this cave entrance? Because the things are stranded near a cave system, I can't find the entrance to said cave system.
parts there. Just, just fucking blind. It's just right behind it. Wouldn't it be nice if I used my eyes? I think it would be. That's right, you can get to like here. Uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, the conditions the in yeah. this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. This, this is what it's really easy to get like, in the region. lost in and just run out of oxygen because you're not paying attention. I know there's a like a proper base in here. I need to remember where that is. This is much easier to do in the PS5 version where the draw distance Warning. isn't like Maximum dog shit. Depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Fuck you. Yep. Because I couldn't get around the things that were spawning in front of me. That's fucking bollocks, isn't it? reload. I don't think I've saved in fucking ages. I don't want to quit just in case I haven't saved in ages. Power cell and glass, which is a 
fucking more quartz. Oh, there's quartz. There's more quartz. The way this game goes, though, is there. Uh, right now, I want copper and I find titanium, and there will be another time where I desperately want titanium and can only find copper. I know I have enough to build my two glasses because I got a lot of their quartz. I left any copper in a chest or something. I'm going to have to go out and get more. I need to get one more copper from somewhere. Copper? I think I have loads of it here, yes. We have the second one. We saved. Welcome aboard, Captain. Wait for it to stop saying saving game. Just to be sure. Is it ever going to stop saying saving game? Is it just going to be saving the game forever and ever? For the rest of time, this game will be saving. There will be no more games, there we go. Ryan. Who, who would like to meet a Leviathan? Who would like to meet a Leviathan, then? As my, as our parting gift. I think there's one over here. So you have chosen death. I have chosen death for the entertainment of the stream. We're gonna go over. Yeah, under the aurora. And there'll be one hanging out. Where it gets deep back here. These, these are the things that it's known for. When I eventually 
actually find it. Oh yeah, it's like back back in it. Look at that horrible fucking thing. Here he comes. <laughs> Ole. Ole. Now kiss. Okay. Come back. <laughs> and now we run away. Oh, nope, he's gonna eat me. Come here then. Oh, dodged you. Oh, dodged you. A Reaper Leviathan. Oh, dodged you. You silly goose. Oh, watched you. Oh, there we go. Smooched. It was very cute. It's just at the top, you died. You you died. Good for you. Okay. And with that little meat cute, I think. Once I can put my control down without it falling over. That is a nice point to to wrap up. That's Podcast.